Greetings from Minkat Manufacturing. What I'm going to do today is show you one of the two methods that I use in doing self knocks. This is the manual method because if you can't do it this way, there's no point in actually just doing it purely mechanically. So this gives you the skill element. What I'll do here is I've got my line marked across the grain and down about 12 mil on either side. So junior hacksaw. Make your cut across the grain at the top. And then work down your mark line. Just let the tool do the work. Drop the corner. Same again the other side. Just let the tool do the work. And then just join them. And the blade will actually just follow its own path. Small half round file support and just open up the end a little bit, a little V support and open the end up with a little V. And then what we do is we go down the slot and open it up with the blade going one way and the other, and then radius ever so slightly around the corner. This is important. Same again this way, and this way, and then radius round, works a slide. Because you're now going to use a plasterboard knife. Now, if you're not sure about this bit, put a glove on, because these are razor sharp. Let the tool do the work. Just gently, 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 because this is almost a right width. Let the tool do the work. Turn it over. Yet again. Let the tool do the work. Simple. Right, next thing. Small flat file with one edge. So it's roughed into the slot. Take eight tool marks. Start your radius, always supporting the knock, otherwise you'll split it open. Take the tool marks out, start the radius. Simple enough. Small round file, which is exactly the right size that I want for my knocks and my self strings. Again, in line, let the tool do the job. Come down and start the radius slot goes down the shaft, turn it over, do the same again, and here comes the important bit, support the end, file all the way through, push back into the slot and then down ever so slightly, turn it over, push back into the slot and down ever so slightly, and that creates the small dolly close peg effect that you get through the slot. So the last thing that we're going to do is take our sanding block, basic sanding block, and just slowly sand it around. I'm going to use that one a little bit rougher. Believe me, these things do wear out after a while. This one's getting there. Don't forget to sand out the slots. There we go. And that's all there is to it, really. Now I've taken a little bit longer than I normally would make in this. It normally takes two to three minutes per knock by hand, sometimes quicker depending. It's a skill set that comes up. If you want to practice doing this, use it and do it on broken old bits of shaft. Practice, practice, practice. And there you have your knock. Okay. Simple, really.